Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, part 90. And remember how in the last segment I had to choose between the C5 and the C6 Z06? Well, uh, uh, I'm getting the C6 this time. So, hey! Because, yeah. So, more Corvettes. And I'm going to get it in a different color instead of the yellower. It's an orange. Actually, this orange doesn't look that bad on it, so, eh. So, here's our new Corvette. But wait, we're not done yet. I'm going to do a little bit of upgrades to this thing, aka, I'm going to get put some freaking racing tires on this car. Hmm. Eh. Yeah, fuck it. Let's upgrade the tire width. Make them wider. So, got 345s in the rear and 285 in the front. Nice. I should put arrow on it now. Oh, dude, I could put the ZR1 motor in it. Heck yeah. Actually, that'd be perfect, because uh, that's going to be my main competition, is the ZR1. Oh, well. I got the tires, so I'm going to try it with having less power. So, me. Anyways. Yay! I think that's what we're doing here. Corvette track days. It is. Okay. I was just making sure it was the exact thing. Anyways, we're doing the Corvette track days after doing the Chevy track days. Limited to the Corvette family cars, and let's go for next season play event. Hooray! So yeah, here's the uh, here's the uh, entry list. Jay Davis is using the ZR1, which I cannot use because it's locked to I think the second disc, and I have no way of installing the second disc on this account. So we're just stuck with an upgraded Z06 instead. I like how we have almost every generation of Corvette up to this point, like this game's release. The only thing missing is a C1. Oh well. Well, here we go. Four races. Starting with our first race at Camino Viejo. The full circuit. Yay. And, yeah. More Corvette racing. But this time it's only for Corvettes and not like, you know, Corvettes and other Chevys. It's Corvette. Like how we had like two series in a row. That's basically been the same thing. The C2 is going to win. Yes, the C2 is definitely going to win. It's the best. It's the best. The best. The best. The best. The best. The best. Which burnout game do I find less fun? Fucking, I don't know. Probably the first one. After playing through that now. Still a good game, though. Here's the starting grid. I'm starting second, as should not be a surprise at all. And uh, let's go. Let's see how this goes. Is this going to be an ass? Or is this going to be, like, doable? Totally should have put the zero one one motor in this. Said fuck the tires, put the zero one one motor in this, oh well. Oh, really kind of forgot about the whole engine swap thing being a thing. Oh my, it's been a bit, it's been a few days since I played this game. Not only am I a bit slightly underpowered, I also gotta knock off some rust. Speaking of knocking, I knocked Davis out of my way. Owned. I think we might be okay here. It doesn't look like he has enough of a power advantage to uh, be much of a threat here. But there are a couple high speed tracks in this series, so we'll see what happens. So hopefully. I kind of forgot what I had in my game audio settings for OBS for this game set to, so I hope it's uh, at a good enough volume. I'm very early on the brakes, don't mind me. 
And go see too, believe in you. You can do it. Okay, one lap down, three to go. Whoa, car. That was very undulating there, kind of calm yourself. Okay, this doesn't look like it's going to be much of an issue. Hooray for tires. Sounds fine on this end, swag. I was actually, like, going back editing some, uh, videos from this LP, and it sounded like the engine sounds a little, a little too quiet compared to my voice. It's really hard to get that perfect balance. Especially since some cars are louder than others and all that jazz. I just want to make sure the game's very audible. Because if there's one thing that kind of annoys me when I watch an LP is when I can't hear the fucking game. I can hear their voice fine, but I can't hear the fucking game. I've never played Burnout Dominator, so I couldn't tell you, Garber. It's like one of the few Burnout games I've yet to play. Now that I recently played through the first one. Alright, I'm building a nice little lead here. And the field is getting very spread out. With the uh, older Corvettes, just kind of going on a casual drive. and smooth. I actually thought the ZR1 was going to be more of a threat than this, but... Go me. Over-preparing for the win. And late. I missed the breaking point. Damn it. Go me. It's okay, I got a good exit out of it. Hey, fanboy. Beep beep Corvette, indeed. A little bit of wheel spin up shifting up the hill. Kind of going over that little... That was a very long crest. Yeah, I know. I have racing tires, but still... I don't know. Like I said, there's a couple high-speed tracks in this series. Maybe he'll be actually, like put up a fight. Whoa! That wheel spin, okay. Well, um, easy victory. <laughs> hey, 427 race time. Nice, nice. And I ended up winning by 10 seconds over Davis, alright. Hello, Sean. It's going to be interesting to see how far behind Anderson and Jones are going to finish here. <clears throat> Considering it, we're going all the way from S-Class to D-Class with these older Corvettes. It's like, yeah. 427 LOL LS. I, I was more referencing my birthday, but okay. That is also a thing. Yeah, Anderson was, was close to winning. N not quite, though. Not quite. Well, he's zero. Anderson almost a full minute behind, and Jones a minute and four seconds. Nice. Alright, well, one race down in this Corvette track day. Oh, hey, level up, sweet. First race of the day, and I get a level up, and I get a Maserati MC12 race car. Fuck yeah. Happy is a me. I am the happy man.
Maserati. God damn it, I barely moved. Oh, it's the Red Bull one. That means this thing has wings. See? You see one in the back, it has a wing. Ha 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 ha, jokes. Nice. Nice car. Alright, let's move on to race two. The Corvette track day. We're going to go to Catalonia. The National Circuit. Three laps. So this is going to... This is where... Things might get slightly interesting because of that long front straight. Although it's not quite as long as it could be because we're doing the National Course, so... So yeah, <laughs> no crash mode in a burnout game doesn't mean it's a burnout game. Meanwhile, burnout one and two, actually no, two had a crash mode. Burnout one, <laughs> one front straight. No, shut up, Q. Don't shut up, controller. I like how it can feel like like my controller vibrates, like if I use throttle, to rev, like rev the engine while uh, that loading circle is on the screen, it still vibrates because revving car. All right, Davis, let's see what this ZR1 can do. Not much, apparently. This is why tires grip is better than power. Oh yeah, that's right, this is the national course, so we have to do the chicane. Always forget about the chicane. So it's just kind of there. Too bad we don't get to do the motorcycle sweeper around here. Because I like that sweeper, it's a cool turn. Better than this hairpin. The chicane sucks. Excuse me, sir. There goes Davis's tail lights. Okay, now it's actually trying. Didn't really pull away much, though. Okay. I think it's enough dicking around. Let's just pass him and get it over with. It's got about 95% behind him. Oh, God. No. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Burnout Paradise didn't have much of a crash mode either. No interior view. That's for the next two races. Do half the races outside, half the races inside. Okay, one lap to go. Final lap. Oh no, Davis is catching me. Not anymore. You could certainly delete. I think he was having a little too much fun with this uh, random tweet generator. Then again, your Twitter is so fucked up that it generates some pretty good tweets. Track boundaries, oh no.
Oh yeah, the hot rod and burnout too. Fucking perfect launch wheelie. That shit's great. Nice smooth through the chicane. Oh, a little bit of an audio glitch there. And nice easy victory. 2.2 seconds, not bad. Sweet. Not bad at all. Uh oh, something happened to Miller in his grand sport. He's getting beaten by the uh, get beaten by Anderson. C two is marching towards the front. He's up to sixth. He's going. He's going places. And AI runs my car super wide, bro. I even have more grip. What the hell, game? All right, Anderson six. That ties him for six in the points with Miller. So we have C2 versus C4 Grand Sport in an epic point battle. It's fucking epic. And shit. I have four level two Chevys now. Nice. Okay, well, halfway through the Corvette track day. So let's move on to race number three at Silverstone National Circuit, all right. Which Corvette is best, Corvette? My Corvette is best because I'm winning the races. Owned. Yes, C2, of course. Exactly. Split window, bro. Although my favorite Corvette is still the C4 Grand Sport, so... Oh boy, Silverstone. This one won't be that bad. It has a couple longer straightaways, but it's not that bad. So, off we go. Shouldn't be too difficult to get the lead here. Well, it should be a fucking difficult ass race since I said that. Calling it right now. Okay, nope, got the lead in turn one since I had the uh, inside lane. Oh, but he's coming back. Because I had a really, really bad exit. A really bad exit. Oh god, thank you for cutting me off, Davis. Appreciate it, bro. Well, I thought I had this in the bag. I was wrong. Oh, jeez. That closing rate, though. That closing rate, though. Oh, my God. Okay, I got four laps. Plenty of time. Console on Xbox 360. This is PS4, yes. This is Gran Turismo Sport. Jokes. Anyways. Come on, Davis. Give him a false sense of uh, security. There we go. <laughs> fucking flick it inside of him. That was beautiful. That wasn't exactly the plan, but... Okay, that wasn't exactly the plan until, like... That second apex. And then I'm just like, yeah, we're doing this. <laughs> this is how we take the lead. very well. 
Only a very light tap, as I was trying to clear him. Oh, that was bad. Oh, quit sliding. Do I like let better Lamar or Nurburgring? Uh, I'd have to go with Lasarth. And that's just because I like the 24 hours of Lamal better than 24 hours of Nurburgring. Based on my, uh, which track I like more based on the races that they host. Asking Q if he's okay. Son, he's never okay. Never, nor will he ever be. God, the generator spit some bars, oh boy. Cue the rap god. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, fantastic. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's no like warning sticker on the uh, on the visor of this car. I just realized that's bullshit. I was wanting to play the game of how many pixels are in the uh, warning sticker. The game has uh, denied me this opportunity, motherfucker. So like how once I got around Dave got past Davis, he just kind of gave up. Go Davis. Interruptions are great. It's always got to happen right at the end of the race, too. Oh, well. It didn't screw me up, so that's good. Still in the groove. And there we go, man. Easy peasy. Another two second victory. Nice. God, that fucking comment, Ludo. <laughs> Please drive properly the cars and don't hit them or go off track or you're stumped or something. You can't drive or hee 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 hee. YouTube's a magical place, I tell you what. Uh-oh, Anderson's in last in this race. C2 hype train, I think, is derailed. Plus, he's not even driving the split window. This is bullshit. How dare you not drive the 63? That's the only C2 allowed. Hey, dang. Welcome to Cancer of the Chat. <laughs> Everything has gone to hell. Well, at least Anderson's not gonna get shut out. Er, Anderson. Well, Jones is not gonna get shut out. So I guess that's good for him. I guess. Hooray? I don't know. Anyways. Time for one more race. Chat has just become a fucking pit of memes. Boy, this one's gonna be interesting. A Malfi reverse. Oh god, we're starting with the hairpin. This is not gonna be pretty. I can tell you that much right now. There's gonna be a. There's gonna be quite the uh, holocaust of a race.
Ooh, let me just add one more thing to my little notes for this segment. Oh, shut up, game. Or Xbox. My controller's plugged in. Hairpin Holocaust calling it now, probably. I would not be surprised if I uh, nosed it into the frickin' top wall on lap two. You know, missing breaking points and shit. Alright, here we go. Hairpin Holocaust. Wow, alright. Excuse me, Taylor. Jesus. What a douchebag. Ugh, now I gotta get around this fucker. Somehow. Excuse me. Pokemon versus Digimon. Uh, let's not open that fucking... Ho Speaking of Holocaust, let's not open that can of shit. People get very heated during... Uh, if there's a whole Pokemon versus Digimon debate. Okay, let's catch Davis here. That'd be nice. Oh, Davis went very wide. I'm sliding. I went very slide. Jeez. Takes out for Harambe. God damn it. It's just gonna be one giant meme filled chat today, isn't it? Feeling in me bones. Gonna get you eventually, Davis. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. I'm just gonna lay back a bit. Nope, no dive into the hairpin. In the middle of the hairpin, maybe? That was a bad idea. Like, I knew he was gonna come down, but I tried it anyways. Because I'm smart. So difficult to overtake around here. That's the worst part about this. Is like it's not that he's being difficult to pass because he's that good. This was the worst time to have an interruption. Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, it's no longer a matter of when; it's a matter of if. Catch the fucker. Okay, we've catched the fucker. It's back to a matter of when. Alright, he goes wide. Brings it down. Okay, I'm closer this time, so I have a chance. I'm just gonna have to do something stupid here. Anyways, like I was saying, it's very, very difficult to uh, overtake around this track. Very, very difficult. So I just pretty much have to bully my way in front of people. At all times. But hey, we got the lead, so that's cool. That was a very long uh, little engine gl sound glitch. It's been happening more often than not lately. I don't know what the hell causes it. Some reading the disc, because, you know, whenever it happens, I hear my uh, x backs trying to frantically read the disc, so it stops. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's weird. Hey, one, cool. This would have been an easy to edit segment if it not weren't for the uh, interruptions. Oh well. 
How dare I have to put more than two seconds of effort into this? Man, the front of my car is pretty scrunched up. Jeez, look at that hood. That hood bulge. And Anderson finishes seventh again. There we go. Everyone across the line, there's the final points. Because they totally matter. Another 12 grand for me. And I'm going to get double the total winnings here since doing this in season play. Hooray! This takes me one step closer to being able to finally do the prototype road test. So 26 grand instead of probably 13, I don't remember. Anyways. Almost back up to 500k. Nice. So, that's out of the way. Apparently, there's no, um... R3 uh, race after this. Okay. We're, we're doing two, uh... Huh. That's actually a little surprising. Two open weeks. Huh. Alright, so, I guess it was a month difference between uh, rounds in the R3 championship, so I guess we're not doing that next. Instead, we're going to be doing the Dodge Track Days next segment. So with that, stay tuned for more uh, Forza 3.